Hello friends, welcome back. Today we would be discussing about the Professional Scrum Master that is the PSM1 certification. In this tutorial, I would be giving you an overview of the PSM1 certification. Friends, we are all aware that most of the technology organization have already adopted Agile methodology or are in the process of adopting Agile methodology. And Scrum is a framework which works very well with the Agile methodology. So organizations these days prefer people with the Professional Scrum Master certification. In this video, I would be discussing everything about the PSM1 certification. All the frequently asked questions like what are the prerequisites, who provides this certification, what is the passing criteria, what are the topics which we should be studying, all these things would be covered in this video. So let's begin with the most common question which is who is the provider of this PSM1 certification? The answer is scrum.org. I'll show you their website. So this is the website. You could see over here, this organization provides a number of Scrum related trainings and certification and the certificates issued by this organization are internationally recognized. We would be coming back to this website during the course of this video when we would be discussing about the exam preparation and registration. For now, we'll concentrate on the next very important question that is what are the prerequisites now you'll be very happy to know that there are no prerequisites for the psm1 certification some certifications for example the pmp certification requires that you should have some project management experience and you should attend a training but in this case for psm1 certification there are no such prerequisites moving to the next frequently asked question that is the syllabus and what are the topics which we should study so the answer to this question is we should refer the official scrum guide you will get the official scrum guide from the scrum.org website so i'll show you from where you can get this scrum guide on the scrum.org website go to open assessments there you will find something called scrum open click over there if you just scroll down somewhere in the middle you'll find a link to the scrum guide click over there and on the next page you'll get the option to download the scrum guide so you could just click over here and get the scrum guide so here you'll have multiple options like you could download in the PDF format or you could also read online for now I am just clicking on this option what I will suggest is please download it and get a print of it but for now I am just clicking on this thing so that you would be able to read it online so this is the scrum guide and all the questions in your PSM1 examination would be coming from this scrum guide so if you would see on the left hand side these are the topics like what is the definition uses scrum theory scrum values scrum teams scrum events scrum artifacts artifact transparency like these are the topics on which the questions would be based in your psm1 examination now as we are discussing about the scrum guide i would like to call out a very important point which is the answers to the questions which would be there in the PSM examination should be from the scrum guide. I could give you an example. Suppose you have this kind of a question in your PSM1 exam. The question reads as proxy product owner takes over the responsibility of the product owner when the product owner is very busy. The options are true or false. Now if your organization is following agile methodology and they have a concept of proxy product owner you may think the answer is true but if you would refer the scrum guide there is no concept of proxy product owner and hence if you try to answer the question based on your experience you may get the answer wrong although there are no negative markings for incorrect answers in PSM1 examination losing one mark could be expensive the next thing which comes in the mind is what would be the total number of questions in the PSM1 examination? 
the answer is there would be 80 questions and remember I told you losing one mark would be very expensive you know why because the passing score is 85% which means 68 marks you have to score 68 marks in order to get the certification and this brings another very important question to our mind what is the time duration like you'll have to attempt these 80 questions in 60 minutes so you would be having less than one minute per question next thing is the exam location like there are other certifications like the technological certifications of java or the pmp certification where you have to register and go to the specific center to write your examination but here in psm you do not have any such exam center you are free to give the examination from your home or your office or anywhere but one important point is you should have an uninterrupted internet connection psm1 examination is a web based mcq like you will have multiple choice questions so if your internet connection is slow it may take time to load the questions and options and you may lose time remember you will have less than one minute per question your internet connectivity should be strong enough also you all must be thinking that since you could give it from your home or anywhere else you could refer the scrum guide and find the right answer and select the option now again remember you have less than one minute per question do not try doing that in fact do a thorough preparation and then only sit for the examination next is we'll talk about the exam preparation this would be a question in everybody's mind how to prepare for the PSM 1 certification well the preparation can be done with the help of a professional training or it can be done without training so first let's discuss if we need a professional training from where to get it so for that we'll once again move to the official scrum.org website so this is the official website here on the website you have the section called training go into the screening section and you have this option of view class schedule click on it and then you land on a page where you could find your course with respect to your location so just select these entries so for example if you are located in United States select United States in country now the distance from like here depending on your location for example I'm selecting 30 kilometers from the postal code here I am entering 10005 I'm selecting all instructors like you have an option of selecting the instructor but for now I'm selecting all instructors the course now we are looking for the professional scrum master certification so I selected professional scrum master and here is the option of selecting the language so here I'm selecting English you could select your choice and now I'm clicking on apply so here if you see below you'll get the options with the dates the location and who is the instructor so based on your preference you will go ahead and click on this register button to get yourself registered and when you will do that you will be landed on another page where you will have all the other details like here you could see the fees and yes it is a bit expensive and this fees will vary depending on your location so if people are looking out for a training then they should go ahead and pay the fees fill in the details and they would get registered one advantage of attending the training is like if you just scroll down and read through these notes which are given over here if you just scroll down in this section assessment and certification now just read through the lines which I am highlighting the candidates he who would be attending this training will receive a second free attempt like what this means is like if you take the training and give the first attempt within the first 14 days after completing the training and if by chance you are not able to get the passing score you will get another attempt they will send you a second password which is written over here 
the only condition is that the attempt should be within the 14 days after completing your training and if you passed in the first attempt it is good but if you are not able to score the passing marks then you will get another chance other advantages will include that you will get the study material the instructor will clear your doubts and if you all have any questions you would be able to ask to the instructor during the training but yes it is a bit expensive and you must be thinking can we do the certification without the training the answer is absolutely yes you can do it and i'm sure if you prepare well you could pass the examination in the first attempt itself so if you are planning to do the certification by yourself you will have to do the registration on the scrum.org website i'll show you the steps a bit later but first let us discuss like what study materials we should use to get prepared for the psm1 examination so as already mentioned the first source of information would be the scrum guide the scrum guide would act as a bible and everything in your examination would be coming from the scrum guide and you should also give a number of mock assessments the mock assessments are available on the scrum.org website now i'll go back to the website and i'll show you these mock assessments so on the scrum.org website if you would see on the top there is something called open assessments click over there and this small window will open up and here you'll have the option of scrum open click on it and now if you'll just scroll down there at the bottom you'll find this statement which i am highlighting the assessment consists of 30 questions randomly selected from a larger pool if you'll click this start assessment button the assessment would begin now how you should start your preparation suppose today you decided that you have to give this psm1 examination so your first step would be without looking at anything else not even the scrum guide you have to come over here and start this assessment maybe most of the questions would go wrong but that would tell you where you stand right now next is you have to thoroughly read the scrum guide what i would suggest is take the print of the scrum guide or if you are using a handheld device whenever you are traveling just keep on reading it so that your concepts would get clear and every day you have to give this assessment you have to continue this until you get 30 out of 30 in each of the attempt you will not take the date for the examination until you get 30 out of 30 for five consecutive attempts if you start getting 30 on 30 in each of your attempts there are high chances that you would do really well in your actual examination the assessment is very important because most of the questions in the actual examination would be similar to those which you'd see in the assessments further you could refer to this book scrum insights for practitioners this is similar to the scrum guide it, ha it has the content similar to scrum guide but it has with some illustrations so if you wish you could try this book you could also watch my videos this is my first video on professional scrum master in which i am just giving you an overview of the psm1 certification in my videos i would be covering each topic which we saw in the scrum guide with mock question and answers so stay tuned for my subsequent video tutorials on psm1 that was on the preparation part now let's once again move towards the registration i already explained if you are going for a training then you'll have to register for the training through the scrum.org website and once your training is done you'll get the password for the examination now irrespective if whether you are taking the training or directly giving the examination without the training what you all have to do is first of all go to the scrum.org site and register yourself this is the registration page you just have to provide your email id and password then your personal details and the registration is done now if you have registered for a training then what will happen is you'll get a password for your examination from scrum.org after your training is completed so what you'll have to do is just log in into this website using your email id and password and 
follow the steps I will be showing right now. So for people who have attended the training and received the examination password from scrum.org what they will have to do is they will have to log in into the scrum.org with their email address and password then go to the certification here select professional scrum master go to PSM1 assessment scroll down and here you will have the option of start assessment you need not buy this PSM1 assessment because you have already attended the training and you would directly go to start assessment when you will click this it will ask you the password which was sent to you by the scrum.org so just enter the password and your test will begin and your timer would start you will have one hour and you will have to complete your test for people who have not taken the training and they wish to directly give the PSM1 certification the registration step is the same you have to register over here then log in to the portal using the username and password you used while registering on scrum.org now what you'll do is on this certification page you would select the option buy PSM1 assessment you could see the cost it is 150 US dollars you have to click this button here you have to proceed with the payment and once it is done you could see over here your exam password would be mailed within one business day so once you get your password again you have to log in to scrum.org using the email id and password which you use during the registration and then once again follow the same steps which i had shown earlier go to certification professional scrum master psm1 assessment and this time click on the button start assessment you will be asked for your exam password enter the password and start with your examination once you are done with your examination you will get your scorecard immediately and i'm sure you would score more than 68 marks that means you would pass and you'll receive your psm1 certificate through email so this was an overview of the PSM1 certification. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos I would be uploading. Guys, thanks for joining. Stay tuned. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Goodbye.